Oh, okay, that happened a bit early. Uh, oh, hell, though, that's been... Okay, give me a second, because that might be... There we go, that should make my... But for some reason, my audio, my mic audio got re you know, reset or something, so now I have to lower the volume again. Uh, anyways, ahoy everyone, welcome aboard, I'll be your Captain Hillian today, along with... First mate Rakir at your service, along with three mini pizzas. <laughs> and welcome back to Rayman 2 The Great Escape. And yeah, last time we started this on this game and got in quite far. And I actually think we stopped on a rather fitting level because... Uh, yeah, we have this whale swimming around here. And uh, yeah, we, all get, we already got through a quarter of the 100% of the game. And yeah, we are headed for Whale Bay. Oh dear. I'm so, already concerned. Yeah. Last time we escaped, uh, we you know, we freed Lee the Ferry, we freed Glowbox, and we also uh, <clears throat> we also got the, f the first of four masks in the Sanctuary of Ice and Water, which, well, Ax <laughs> the boss Axel was a complete pushover. The other bosses for that won't be as much, though. So let's head in. Hello. Okay. Uh, uh, what? Uh, uh, what in Odin's name is that? A barrel of trouble. <laughs> I had completely forgotten about this enemy. And luckily it doesn't seem to be having any, well, invincibility screens or frames. So it can't actually, we can actually just <laughs> wail it down and let's have a look. We have a, we have an energy barrier here, but where do we deactivate this? Hmm. Yep, camera swapped suddenly. There's nothing else here. Okay, we can get into the water tank. Okay. To dive, press Z. To the resurface, press A. Yeah, we, we found out how to swim earlier in the previous level, but we didn't get it explained there. Let's see. We run out of air really quickly. I... Luckily, there are these, yeah, there's these blue lums around that we can pick up. But as we saw, if we run out of air, it's an instant death. And there we go. Okay, bunch of red lumps down this thing that we could grab. So let's just do that quick. So at least we have full health. Oop. I say that and the dodge a freaking piranha. Hmm. Might it actually give us extra health if we... Oh, it's chasing us, I think. Yeah, it's chasing after us. I, I think Is we it... might get extra health if we get all of the lums in time. It... Was the piranha somersaulting after you? Uh, no, I don't think it was. Okay. Let's just grab some lums. Now, it, it, it might look that way because it's constantly... <laughs> snapping its jaws. Okay, okay. <laughs> okay. If we just move to the side, we can easily dodge it. But after there's no the music buggers. here. Uh, uh, you want music? All right. <clears throat> Standing here, you realize oh. aliens <laughs> is so small, but when you spread with fur. Yeah, good luck, folks. I'm not gonna see the original proper. I'll avoid the copyright strikes here. Okay, charge also, shots do a lot more damage. Also, I think the Auto 3, I don't have a senior voice. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> like, I, I, apparently, I can 
do better voice acting the, a bit than Hillier, but singing? <laughs> yeah, I'm not be surprised if Hillier is the better singer of those two. Okay, up, I see where we need to go. We have a very convenient rope ladder. But not really a rope ladder, it's just rope <laughs> netting. Okay. <laughs> I don't like that sound. But every time I hear that thing, I used to think of someone's cell phone is calling. <laughs> now, there we go. There's the switch. Is it, does it doesn't sound like an older cell phone. It's, it does sound a bit like that, yeah. <laughs> uh, wait, was it cell phones are a bit of a thing when this came out? Uh, This game came out in, in 1999. I believe. Oh, okay. Or... Okay, then it was before cell phone became a, a common thing for your youth. Yeah. Ooh, hello. Okay. Why did that one get a close up just to show that it's asleep? Hmm. I very much thought it's some sort of special extra strong pirate, so let's actually just take it on. I say wanting to do a charge shot, but Rayman is the Grease. Okay. Seems I can only do the... Seems I can only do the charge shots when I am actually locked on. And yeah, as you saw there, they will actually take a swipe at you if you get too close. A left hook? Oh wait, I look, that hook was on the left side, right? Uh, I think on our left, so they're right, I think. So a right hook. Yep. Quite and the palms are rolling in. <laughs> Wait, what? Quite literally. Yep. Oh. 30 box. No, 30 cages. So we get another health upgrade. And now we have a purple lump to get around. I gotta say, I probably like Rayman 2's voice better than in the other games. Or at least by Ooh. memory. Hey Rayman, Carmen the Whale is trapped. The pirates want to use her blubber to oil the engines of their prison boats. Go help her, fast, before it's too late. Yeah, they, they literally just want to go slaughter a whale. I really don't like his uh, whispering tone for it. That smile and the whisper, it comes off as creepy. Yeah, a bit. In the third game, Murphy comes off a bit better. In uh, what way? And at least less of a creep. <laughs> but that's good. Let's see, what have we here? No the, the only thing that would make him worse is if he became Stan. <laughs> yeah, luckily we've dealt with him for now. Yeah. To breathe, grab my air bubbles. Yeah, that's... Oh, oh crap. Yeah, the whole thing with uh, this level is going to be that we're going to have to go swimming after Carmen. And of course I miss a single lum. Oop. Oh, wait, I... We need to charge over that. <laughs> okay. I gotta say, I, I, I still personally like the the walking shells quite a bit. Maybe possibly because there's just they're just so out of left field compared to a lot of other stuff. <laughs> okay. Uh, what happened there was I accidentally I used the wrong button wrong button again. Jumped off of the shell, got back onto it in mid-air, and yeah, <laughs> exploded against a wall with it. Oh well, at least we're outside. Ow. And yeah, we really need to collect each and every one of these bubbles. I'm pretty sure you can miss a, well, a few, but uh, you better <laughs> take care to grab as many as you can before you drown. Okay. 
And yeah, I don't think there's too much else to talk about at the moment, except for, well, <laughs> that the pirates were literally going to just slaughter one of Rayman's friends for, <laughs> for oil. It's horrible. Yeah, like I said, they... I think I've said it before, but they don't mess around, and Carmen's eyes do have... Carmen's eyes are 2D, just like glow boxes. Oh, the piranhas coming, are coming to take my air bubbles. Yeah, we have to beat them to it, or just beat them up. Uh, Carmen's eyes don't have... Uh, yeah, <laughs> don't have her pupils on the backs of them. Fuck off, Painfully. you. Painfully? That one's lost. Okay, we need one quickly. Come on, Carmen. At least she's waiting for us and not just charging ahead. Why couldn't we just ride her? Uh, not sure if there's much to hold on to. Mm, yeah, I guess you would don't want to hold on to her blowhole for since. Yeah, that, that basically will be like uh, me holding on to your nose. Yeah. yeah. I thought you could attack these uh, piranhas, but apparently not. And okay, I I don't remember I don't remember it being that short. So I'm I think there must be more. Where was that really? All there was to the the whale section that I just misremembered completely. Hmm. Maybe it felt longer for you struggling for uh, when you were younger? Possibly. Um, let's see. At least we're in shallower waters now. Hmm. Oh, and I, I looked up what we could actually get from the bonus stages. It's just a temporary upgrade. So, temporary. nothing required. Yeah. Temporary? <laughs> No, no, no. That, 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 that's not acceptable. You don't have an extremely hard bonus stage just for a temporary bonus. It would last the entire stage, I presume. But still, yeah. Yeah, that... that that's the kind of bullshittery that kids... Hated and started ignoring many bonus levels. As they quickly realized, wait, I only had this temporary bonus. After all of that, screw yeah. it. On the level, on the versions of this game that had a lives system, it would it would give you lives, I believe. Um, other than that, it could give you well attack power ups, I believe. Oh dear. We missed quite a bit still of this mission, but at least it was at least it was rather short and not as long as I remembered. And we are at the second of the sanctuaries, the sanctuary of stone and fire. I presume we have enough lums. And these little idiots are still at it. I am a bit curious about what lines they would have if we didn't have enough lums. But it probably then wouldn't add too much. And yeah, this is basically the same as last time, I believe. Let me just double check on something here. Okay, that stupid thing is charging. My fitness tracker ran out of power again middle, in the middle of the day. Alright then. Here we go. And yeah, a sanctuary of fire and stone is <laughs> going to mean a lot of lava, of course. Warning, Labyrinth. If you get lost, contact Robo-Rooters immediately. Robo-Rooters? What? 
I'm... I was thinking for a moment that it was a joke at something else, but, uh... No, I'm just... I'm completely missing what that is supposed to be a joke slash reference to. And hello there, welcoming committee. Uh... Something like... It, but you haven't heard the term... Uh, rooting out? Yeah. Maybe uh, that's what a router does. Hmm. That would that would be more like a route. Uh, routing it out is more like getting rid of something completely. Nope. There was a little something hidden there. Uh, let's have... see if we can get to it. Am I robotic roots? <laughs> uh, probably not that either. Yeah, I, I would skip the girl about that one actually myself. And also, what is Rayman? Rayman is well, even the worlds of the <laughs> even the denizens of this whole world don't know what the hell Rayman is. He's just well, Rayman. He just showed up one day, <laughs> found sleeping underneath a, uh, a tree. And, yeah, <laughs> from there on, he just went along and did his own thing. Okay. For he looks like... In the very first game, he kind of looked like the others, like a... Uh, hand, feet, body, head, no neck and such. When he fought mushroom people, they were basically the same. But here, he seems to be the only one big like this. Yeah. I'm not the... Hmm. I'm not actually sure if there is supposed to be any sort of cont uh, con yeah, continuity with uh, the first and second Rayman games. Uh, yeah, here we have, uh, well, <laughs> a golden glove. It, if I recall correctly, this is just a uh, an attack power upgrade, which will last for three hits. And is there? Okay, how do how can we get to that cage? The route to it can't be too long. Hmm. Maybe there's a little something hidden here. Hmm. But yeah, I, I, it's still kind of funny. Like again, in the first game, Rayman looked. Very similar like to, to his opponents, again with uh, just hands, feet, body, head, and missing the all, arms and all that. So yeah, because all the other things didn't have them either. Yeah, so you're seeing this game and a glimpse of the others, and he's the only one that did not get really an update. <laughs> Made me very confused. Like, but they, I kind of wonder if there's a story like they plan to give him arms and such, but they struggle with it because he just ended up looking weird. Highly likely on that. So they, it could just be that uh, they just give, he's the one that they just give up and just let him be as, as original as possible when the original came. Yeah. And, well, it would kind of cut into the whole throwing your literal fist mechanic. Oh yeah, And there goes true. your second hit, <laughs> because I Which forgot was... about this. Is that... If I remember, didn't the mushrooms in the first game also do that? Uh... I don't remember, and uh, yeah, this is how we... Oh. That That's how we get over lava. <laughs> that fairy... It's a plum. <laughs> That's what uh, make plum. Yeah, that's also the plum that you could find in the first Rayman game, so that is something they brought along. And yes, you can ride them by just punching the diff in the opposite direction. That's why I recognize that. For, uh, that, that is uh, the coloring all that just f gave me flashback. I thought, wait, I'm sure I've seen that in the first game. Oh, I hear you, little bastard. So now I know I'm not being crazy. Okay. Yeah, we need to ride these things down the lava. Yeah, wait, hold on. Hold on. 
Hold the horses. Hmm. Who the heck is a plum rider? <laughs> a very slick skin, I presume. And yeah, you can see one issue already with these things. They can be a bit finicky to get onto. Basically like the original. And yeah, we lost our golden glove. Ooh. I hate the sounds that those little things do. Yeah, they sound exactly like freaking mosquitoes. Yeah, that... Ooh! Just makes me shudder. If for some reason, mosquitoes don't really bite me too often, uh, even when they're in my room. Okay, bit of an odd transition. You've guessed how to climb onto the plum. And move by shooting in the opposite direction. If you want to grab it, stand in front of it. You can throw it in the air, pre it, 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 just press A, and throw it in front of you with space or X on the controller. The plum lets you move on lava as well as water. And why not stick one on a post? When it's far away, shoot it to make it move. Don't hesitate to use it against your enemies. Yeah, these are some uh, <laughs> multi-purpose plums. I have to say, these are probably the only plums I've seen that actually look tasty. Yeah, they look tasty. <laughs> uh, I don't recall ever eating anything with plum in it. And uh, is there anything hidden up here? I, yeah, I never eat anything with plums, I think. Okay. I think this is actually the entrance to the actual sanctuary, so let's head back. See if there's any hidden stuff. Even though, well, we don't want to get the access to the bonus stages. Wait, okay, but I might have eaten plums, but... I think I forgot to have it tasted. Yeah, I, I believe they are good for digestion at the very least. And supposedly a lot of elderly people like them. Oh yeah, that's but, prunes, not plums, yeah. Yeah, do I think plum has a similar reputation? Oh, that's a maybe. Yeah. Oh, almost forgot. I think I talked about this in uh, something Sunday, but I went to look up about goldfish. Yep. And I finally have, I finally know where they are originally from. Yep. yep. China. Yeah. <laughs> Apparently, the mutation for them to turning a bit golden, orange, and all that happened early as 600 AD. Okay. So they already not noticed that they had already been farming them for food and stuff, farming them as uh, basically limited operations. They even have them in fishing bowls already. Okay. And when they so... grow big enough, they release them. Yeah, probably because of the whole... Uh, there is a myth in the Chinese mythology about uh, koi's and uh, dragons, like Boys becoming dragons, and I could, I could see them oh, releasing them as part of that, perhaps. Yeah, no. Here's a here's a probably another people. Don't flush your goldfish into the toilet, or release them into random uh, lakes. Okay. But apparently, be... they can grow huge. I'm not kidding, Ilian. We talking about big enough to eat a chihuahua whole. <laughs> okay. We talking and... about uh... oh, bloody hell, what should I compare it to? Carps. Probably Oop. as heavy as a golden retriever, perhaps. Oh, okay. I was about to ask: Is that thing going to come back or not? And yeah, we found another gimmick. Just stalactites, break them and get on them before they melt or fall away. Okay, then. That bandage is a bit more hidden than the usual ones, and I was almost expecting that one to land on Rayman's head. <laughs> uh, something, something similar that, that happened in Gear Wars 2 today. I was a little bit about the Queen's Tale. 
There's suddenly a tree falls down next to us. <laughs> and okay. the wasp and the nerf wasp queen came uh, true. And I completely forgot that she fell down trees. <laughs> so yeah, I was caught off guard by a falling tree in that game. Yeah, I, I presume uh, I can. It's an easy guess that Guild Wars 2 is having a big new player influx now that it's on Steam. And um, yeah, I should probably pick it up again myself. I actually haven't in I have yeah, I actually haven't uninstalled it since the last time I played, which was quite a while ago. Yeah, it's still a good game, and I, I, I yeah, I, I'm not gonna link it to Steam or anything. I don't see the point in it, but I do see it good for newer players. Yeah. And yeah, those flames are coming at us with deadly intent. So let's keep moving. See, can hear you. We're, we've missed a lot of lums, I think. But uh, yeah, we we're not going for one hundred percent completion. But, and there's these blasted little spiders again. Again, so we've dealt with a big version at the very least. Okay. There's a bunch of torches around, but I don't think we can actually do anything with those. <laughs> this sound leaks. <laughs> the sound of the stalagmite going into the lava actually just sounds like it's be being like someone's cutting into a cake or anything. Maybe not a cake, but something familiar. It was Wait. Yeah, it's a stock for the sound of uh, like when you'll be falling to mud or just throw a pie at someone's face. Yep. Nope. Hello in the uh, chat for Big Trucker. And um, okay, prunes are dried plums. That's a new one. That I did not know. And uh, wait, haven't we seen you before? Yeah, he's one of uh, Beanie's friends. In the, uh, hello, big boy. All oh, right, that's why I recognize uh, the name. N nice to finally see you in chat, the uh, big truckers, and, well, I actually can see the chat now for once. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Drakir has a, a view of OBS, so he has, well, he can see the chat in the entirety of the stream and not just uh, the game itself. But uh, yeah, welcome to the stream. We're playing Rayman 2, as is very obvious, the GOG version, to be accurate. Which, well, it actually went on to sale really recently. Uh, well, you, you can like, you can get it on, <clears throat> you can get it on GOG for like one dollar or one buck thirty. For, for me, at least, it was one euro thirty, and hmm. That's cheap. Yeah, there are a lot of game Ubisoft games on sale now. Oh, hello. What are you doing here? <laughs> okay, Just what are we supposed to do here? <laughs> uh, wait. Fly. Oh. It's a rocket, remember? Uh, yeah. yeah. Flight I... over the lava, not into the wall. <laughs> really? Seriously? Can I actually aim up with this thing or... No, it actually just runs straight over the lava. <laughs> Apparently it's immune to hotfoot. These are some tiny Wait, ass... What? Tiny ass paths, though. Here. Careful with the ball bumping, enough of them will kill. Hmm. Okay, I tried to use the charge there before. Maybe I did it too early. <laughs> uh, but yeah, how, how are things with you, Big Trucker? Been busy? I know Beanie's been streaming a lot more recently. He, he tried to steam Guild Wars 2 actually today. Yeah, I, I saw that on his uh, server. 
And I I'm still up for joining those whenever possible. Do, do I just need to jump off? Oh, wait, what? I okay, usually the jump button just jumps Rayman straight off it. Not uh, the shell itself. <laughs> And I wasn't supposed to jump there. <laughs> it's gonna be a painful one. Hmm. I'm trying to think a bit on what we could try to make a 3D uh, model of in this game. And I think Rayman might be a, a, an obvious choice, but would be a bit uh, of an odd one with, well, him not having limbs to it actually attach the extremities to. Ooh. Wait. Yep, damn it. Okay, wait, wait, now I'm confused here. Ain't there actually figures of him? Probably, but those use clear uh, plastic to connect them, probably. Okay, that would make sense, but otherwise. Yeah. Yeah, the, the, the annoying thing we have now with the shell here is that if I jump at the wrong points, it actually just straight up nose dives into the ground and explodes. But uh, yeah, I'm thinking maybe maybe if we can somehow. Uh, what the? Okay. Uh, I'm, 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 I have two ideas for a possible figure so far. One would be Rayman riding a shell. Or and the other would be Lee the Fairy. Or would it yeah, be Lion? I was yes, Lee. <laughs> if would, uh, that one probably would be more unique and easier to have a model of. True, they'd be, they'd be a lot harder to paint, but uh, a lot easier to put together. Okay, let's not explode randomly this time. I said let's not. <laughs> Uh, uh, yeah, I can. I, I can need a drink for this. What the heck? Where did the accent come from? Did uh, I accidentally turn Scottish? Apparently, yeah. <laughs> You're gonna need some whiskey for that. Good old whiskey. I almost did it again. I almost did it again! <laughs> okay. No random expl- Okay, why the hell is it blowing up there? We're de obviously <laughs> supposed to jump there. I, I think you jinx it by saying the phrase. Uh, yeah, as good as this game is, it still has a bit- uh, a few points of jank here and there. Or are we supposed to charge over it now or something? Yeah, it, it just straight up nose dives straight down. <laughs> Come on. Maybe you're supposed to jump off? Uh, no, I think we need to have it hit the door. Uh, but yeah, let's let's try jumping off. As yeah. Oh, also another thing about the, uh, about Gear was still getting more players. I think Gear Tool also got more players due to the role. You know. Thing with Blizzard. Uh, yeah. <laughs> okay, can we? Can, no, we can't. The hell are we? Are we supposed to just run across the flowing lava then? Perhaps there's a door right in front there. Mm. Unless you're supposed to use the damn thing to blow it up. And that's what I'm guessing. Uh, hmm. This would mean you need to dismount. Yeah, I tried it there, uh, but yeah, on Blizzard, uh, Blizzard has been the best advertisement for all of its <laughs> for all of its uh, rivals in oh, come on in the last few years. On uh, how not to treat the player base? Yeah. Yep, and I think mainly go it goes to other MMOs do too, since yeah, they actually filled up. Uh, Final Fantasy 14 was it? The MMO? 
Yep, Final Fantasy XIV got a big ass boost from people getting pissed off with Blizzard. Yeah, and, and now they're finding Guild Wars. Uh, in Guild Wars, Elder Scrolls, and Mad Orders, and they. I know. Yep. And they. His even so I were impressed by those of Final Fantasy. They, are, they said that there are many other MMOs you can play that as well in the meantime, and we plan to upgrade our servers just due to pandemic. The ships they need to upgrade the servers to add more people was were in shortage because of the pandemic. Yeah, because microchip production is a very, very clean, uh, yeah, clean business. As in, it needs to be spotless. Basically, they can have hardly any specks of dust anywhere. Come the fuck on now. Uh, anywhere even close to where it's being produced. Uh, yeah. And, and when everyone pandemic? is... Yeah, when everyone... When a lot of people have the sniffles... Uh, yeah, nope. You're going to need full hazmat suits to be able to work then. Yeah, worse than spotless. <laughs> but yeah, but at least they are actually encouraging to visit themselves, but also visit others. They even said that you don't need to play Final Fantasy non-stop. It's okay to play other games on the side. Something another company on another company that has said that is ArenaNet of Guild Wars. Yeah. And uh yeah, Rayman jumped off automatically there, so I had to do I had to do a jump boost. Or a boost jump. Oh for love of. I knew there was something. Oh uh, well, at least it gave us quite a bit of time to talk. But uh, yeah, I'll probably be on with Guild Wars a lot more. Uh, uh, Genshin Impact also had a big ass update. They added the fourth continent, or at least the first part of the first, well, not continent, but province uh, of that game recently. Oh. But yeah, I'll I'll, I'll, I'll try to. Uh, wasn't there a plum here just now? Okay, must have. Yeah. Never, never mind. Uh, wait, weren't we here earlier? I, I think we did a loop. Maybe? Or... Okay, the hell is going on then? Can we go back? No, we cannot. Okay. Wait, this one looks different, doesn't it? Yeah, the, the door is partially missing. Uh, but yeah, what I was saying, Genshin Impact has had a big update. They have re they've uh, released their or they've updated the version 3.0. And no, it's not missing. It was being blocked. Okay, yeah, this is this is exactly the same. Wait, what? Okay, why the hell did the level loop? Or why did it loop back on itself, is the better question. What the heck? Oh. Oh no. Does that mean... Either we missed something, or we were supposed to go the other way. Did we... Are we gonna need to... Redo, redo that? Uh. Hmm. It's badness. But, yeah. As I was to say, I'm proud of ArenaNet and uh, Square e It's Square Enix for Final Fantasy, right? Yep. Yeah, for whatever team is to work in Final Fantasy there, like ArenaNet, all good people, they are... They want people to be allowed to play other games and do other things without feeling shamed to the games. Something that yeah, yeah. Blizzard wants people to be. Yeah, people just... Uh, no, not people. Blizzard wants people to just be complete addicts. Yeah, and, uh, yet they have said they don't want that, but they... Their actions speak again. differently. Yeah. Okay, we accidentally got that spider with a bank shot. Hmm. I, I think some time ago, I forget how long exactly, 
probably 10 plus years ago, Arena Dead was in hot, uh, was a lot less liked uh, for reasons. I forget the specifics, but I think it was because they canceled a bunch of uh, upcoming games and such. Uh, I know there well, was a spy game called The Agency that people were excited for, but was canceled. But I forget if that was Sony or Arena Net. Good question. I know they. I don't think that uh, Agency was Arena Net, but I know Arena Net had to cancel many games. Like, they had many games planned, but then suddenly they had uh, to do a lot of uh, cutbacks or layoffs with. Basically, they made them forced to abandon many games. And it was a period where Gyros 2 were sort of struggling. Most because they were trying to use so much money to develop the other games as well. Only realized after the layout that they can't. They have to focus more on Gyros 2. And they may have one game in the works. For they apparently do want to expand out the other games instead of just one or two games they have now currently. Yeah, I but think they have each... more than that, but I'm not sure if that is Arena Net or NCSoft specifically. If yeah, that's NCSoft probably NCSoft. Probably have many, yeah. But Arena themselves wants to have more than one, the uh, Guild Wars 2 and Guild Wars 1. But every time they seem to try to expand, something happens that they force to lay, do layoffs. Like, yeah. like, I hope they will do well so they can expand uh, to more games. This will be yeah. good for the growth in general. Yeah. Or, yeah, it's not good to have all eggs in one basket. And I'm pretty sure they knew that way too damn well. Yeah. And yeah, it seems that seems it seems that it is really just a closed loop that is not needed at all, apparently. Okay. Then, Wait, what? why were they Are... even run through that? Lums and such, I guess. And well, this <laughs> this attack upgrade. But uh, yeah, well, I guess we're headed the other way then. That was a good amount of time. Yeah, not really wasted, but could have been spent better. Yeah, we, we only got lums and some cages there, right? Yeah. It was probably one of those things that you were meant to go and have free things and collect. Yeah. So... Okay. Can we jump up here? Yes, we can. Okay. Now then. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hello. What are you leading to, if anything? Oh, hello. There's a little something here. Oh, it's... wait... Lots of destiny! <laughs> what? Okay, what wonder? is one of these things doing here? They're supposed to be in the cave of bad dreams. They look so out of place. This thing is being trying to be sneaky. Okay. Plum? Uh, it looks really plum. Yes, I, I made a plum. Uh, <laughs> plum, not plum. <laughs> uh, uh, let's uh, see. All the plums corrupting us. <laughs> From the sounds of it, at least with you. Now, where do we actually need to use that thing then? Join us. Join us, Hillian. For plums and puns. <laughs> Actually, I think we can use the plum maybe as a bit of an e extender. If we just throw it up. Yep. That, that plum looks so unnervingly familiar for the first game. <laughs> well, it is once again a 2D image. <laughs> Bow before the plum lord. <laughs> Wait, where did that be you? Uh, at the moment, maybe. Yeah, you're... Well... 
I'm gonna say look at your clothes, but I probably should say uh, what's your step. Yeah. Okay, they are just raining what down. I, I recall this bit somewhat. I think we are close to the boss. Good boy. Okay. And then we just get on on our own accord. Uh, never mind. Uh, yeah, the, the lower part of the plum is 2D, similar to the uh, orbs that we've dealt with before, but the top is 3D. You can see it when I turn in circles like this. Yeah, that is a very smart way to do it. And there we go. I recall that this bit can get quite tricky because of stuff like that. Because our plum may be hit lava resistant, but it's not uh, fire resistant, apparently. And that happens. Rose, wait, isn't rose plumbers a thing? Uh, rose plum is probably a thing. You can basically roast anything, save for water. <laughs> That's called boiling. You and in, <laughs> directly into the flames. Yep, yep. <laughs> Come on. Plum that escaped. Gotta be quite a tree up there to drop so many down. Do they... Plum trees? Is that a thing? Or are they another bush... Uh, fruit? What do they even count as? Vegetable? Or... Come on. Not vegetable, not vegetable. Hmm. But I forgot if they come for a tree or not. I think I have heard the term plum tree at some point, but I think that might have been a joke or something. Yeah, I, I, I'm also debating if it's, it's from a tree or not. I get the feeling it's probably not, and that was a stupid... <laughs> I wasn't going Wait. to save myself there anyways. Oh... I think it's from a tree. For I think I knew someone who had them. Wait. Hold on, I think we had some in our own garden in, in the past. <laughs> okay, now let's try and take this a little slower and immediately go into the pit again. Let's see. I didn't recognize the plum recipes I saw. They just don't think... Uh, they just don't think they're a common part of the current American diets. Okay. Pretty sure plums are tree. Okay. Alright, so we are not going insane then. Hmm. Because they are count as berry trees for... It is a term... At least in Swedish we do have the term... Berry trees. Like... Mm -hmm. Cherry trees and plum trees probably would count as those. True. Oh, come on. Almost past but, that stuff. And I'm still struggling to... See... Tomatoes as fruit. I, I think it's still a somewhat ongoing uh, debate on whether tomatoes are technically fruit or technically vegetable because they are literally on the... they literally fit both the strip, you know, this, yeah, descriptions, I think. Maybe we've got the, the third contender. <laughs> what, that tomatoes are just tomato? <laughs> they Berries. just defy all logic. The tomato are either to, fruit, berry or vegetable. So it it yeah. seems to be more united on towards fruit. The white was said berry, then suddenly said fruit. Oh, and the plum is actually waiting for us down here, luckily. Easy. Okay, stage Easy. two. There you go. Oop. Uh, wait, what? Oop. But also, why do these really... things grow oh. when we kill them? Good question. But yeah, I, I guess it's, yeah, it's true to me to grow vines. But trees? So I, I guess I could see to make the uh, vines grow up a tree, but... Ew. Hmm. No. I still want 
don't know if this is a case where we have a t trouble identifying the tomato due to well, we domesticated them early on or something that we we don't know how the ancestors look like to begin with. Okay, at least we have a free heal waiting for us whenever we get to this part. Oh, well, I completely missed that that's there, so let's actually... There we go. Or is this just a safe spot? Hmm, I would... Are we having bad controls here? No, I, I just have... I Oh, I think I know how we were supposed to get that lump, just... Or the red lumps there. That way. Okay. Damn it, Italian. Damn you! Now okay. I'm stuck with Raymond as Backstreet Boys. <laughs> and it's probably worse, but they were popular during his era. And wait, did. Oh no, did most boy bands kind of look like Rayman? Uh, with the hair, maybe, with, like, two locks that are split open, <laughs> often on the forehead. Yeah, oh no. Okay. He's got one of these caterpillar things. And an orb to carry around. I think I remember this part of the game as well. I think for, I think we have to change... I think we might have to change up the door at, that we just came through to get to different areas. But that might just be me remembering quote-unquote too much of this game. That stuff that actually didn't happen or something like that. I hate that whole oh, full of... of Like, yeah, mosquitoes don't bite me too often. Usually, I have been bitten, but not as much as my twin. Poor bugger. But, yeah, yeah I do hate when they fly near your ear. Yeah, that, that pitch is just... <laughs> it is just... Oh, that almost went into the abyss. That pitch is just the epitome of annoying. Yeah, like... Yeah, I, I, many times when I, times when I was younger, when I discovered there's a mosquito in my room, I would not go to sleep until it's dead. For I don't want to be bitten, nor do I want it flying in my ear, due to the damn sound. So I did get the same room with flies. Uh, hmm. Can I just chuck this thing straight over? No. Okay, luckily it respawns here and not all the way back. Oh dear. Okay, um... I'm gonna go get myself a drink. There we go. Just have to wait a little bit before shooting. And there we go. Hmm. <clears throat> Let's see. Most of tomatoes are grown on vines, common tomato plant, but there are some grown on trees. Go ahead, search the internet. It's real. I remember an ad from on TV from the early mid 1990s around Detroit for someone trying to sell tomato trees that produce massive amounts of new tomatoes. That doesn't actually sound that bad because I I, I like tomatoes. Yeah, there we go. It changed up that door. Hmm. Wait, I don't think we were here before. And there's the blue orb. And hello there. Hmm. Okay, I remember this part now. We need to activate that golem to get to the boss. Ah, there we go. This one has also been turned. So now we just grab the plum. And do this again. Let's see. 
Yeah, it's on the round to it list for home improvements. With tomato trees? <laughs> Consider home improvements. Yeah, now, now, now I am actually curious how those uh, tomatoes would come out. Would if, if they are really different or just similar, just grown different or something? I'll get out of there. Okay, different path. Uh, oh. Somebody have a memory to me. Just I, I don't know if it's a real memory, but I think to me this used to be purple. Hmm. So similar to carrots. Yeah, maybe only unless I unless they are purple to uh, tomatoes. What? Right? <laughs> I, I would say I think that otherwise they would exist purple tomatoes. No, a lot of things can be bred to be in different colors. Yeah, and I do know there has been a successful attempt to make square tomatoes. Yeah. yeah, that's actually in Japan with melons as well. I know at the very least they actually sell pretty for pretty high costs. Oop. Uh, wait, what? Okay. Sounds weird. For, and I do remember they recently developed and it was to make it cheaper and easier to transport. Okay. Since, uh, yeah, if, you, if your fruit is, is a square, it's easier p to pack it. Yeah. <laughs> because there's less space uh, op left open in between. Uh, the square melons, though, I believe that is mostly just considered a luxury. Yep, there we go. Not sure why the, the line broke before. And sure. Some yeah, heritage it... he heirloom tomatoes. Oh, purple. All right. Okay, the purple lump went down there. So if we fall off from here again, or if we fall off from here, we could get back up. Yeah, and I interrupted you earlier. Sorry. Uh... I'm drawing a bit of a blank now on what I was thinking anyways, so yeah, let's just grab this thing, put it in place, and awaken the golem. Umber, guardian of the sanctuary of stone and fire. Yeah, this is actually our quote-unquote boss. Uh, you'll see why I say quote-unquote uh, once we actually, well, get on his head. Can we jump on like this? Yep, we can. And there we go. Our, well, quote unquote fights with Umber. Let's see. Japanese square melons are supposed to be less tasty and they take the shape because they put a box around the melon as it grows. Yeah, it, it's mostly oh supposed to be a prestige or luxury thing, I believe. Like a, a sort, a sort of a Valentine's heart, but uh, less tasty. It's a shame, since again, I remember in reading those old '80s books about the future, that it would be a common thing. But apparently, it wasn't really successful. I guess. I guess so, yeah. Elephant, there's a tomato tree crack up above it. Yeah, I read, did read, read that. I'm just curious if there would be any difference in the taste of those compared to uh, normal vine grown tomatoes. But yeah, we have the second mask. Two down, two to go. Wait, that's, that's it? Yep. Our okay. fight with Umber was just riding the stupid thing. His feet are missing.
Hmm. Okay, no bonus level, but we don't want to go in there anyways. And that mask looked like Umber's face, but the first mask didn't look like Axel's face at all. Anyway, though, the Echoing Caves. It could just be complete nostalgia, but I just really love the Robo Pirates and their designs. All right, imposing and oh. More from a big truck yard. Uh, oh, hello. I don't think they uh, tried it yet, but they, oh, they are li a little more meaty and less free use. Okay. I actually don't less like. I actually prefer. I actually don't like the juice too much in you know, tomatoes, so that actually sounds perfect for me. Well, I got less free use. What? Yeah, I, I think he means less sap and such. Yeah, but just free? Yeah, that, that, that I don't know. Just free sounds a bit odder than I don't know why. Maybe just my brain derping. Yep, one of these things again. Uh, there is actually one way that we can beat these things other than lowering them over an open platform, like we accidentally did in the way in Whale Bay. And that is, well, making them look stupid. <laughs> uh, okay, yeah, that... So just less, uh, yeah, less fluids inside of it. That, that yeah. would be good in my opinion. Yeah, that would uh, be good actually, yeah. Like, I, I do like tomatoes, just... When I eat tomato, I want to eat them separately from my meal. I don't want them in my meal. But that's or a ketchup. You, yeah, or the little uh, cherry tomatoes. I eat all on the side as well. And we... <laughs> okay, uh, are we going to drown now because the camera got stuck? It looks like, and unless we have air right... There we go. <laughs> Literally around the corner. Okay, yeah, that's the second switch done. Yeah, can we bust out through this? Nope. I think most tree tomatoes are six plus inches. Yeah, that's a bit bad. That's a chunky tomato. <laughs> Yeah, I'll definitely have to look on seeing to get my hands on... Wait, I, I did a full 360. Now, I'll have to see about getting my hands on some of those things to give them a try. There we go. <laughs> we just get... Now we can just use Plum Face as a platform again. So mean. Okay, two down, two to go. And they'll have to be somewhere around here, I'm guessing. Uh, hello, Murphy. The door is closed by four switches. Yeah, we already guessed that. <laughs> Just the fact that we have four lights in the, cor in the lower right corner. I hear pirate. I don't see pirates. Oh. Well, big trucker, just make sure they are safe tomatoes. They're not the ones that fly off the tree and hit you whenever uh, you make a bad pun. Bad joke. <laughs> and yes, here that was our SCP reference. Yeah. Oh, you've been holding a tomato tree for 30 years? Okay. 
I do suspect getting the, a sapling for them would be pretty damn pricey. Yeah, the, after 30 years, you would expect them to be cheaper. Unless they are very tricky to grow. It could be. No, if, then again, it's a tree. Yeah, it would take a, it would take a long as time to grow that thing to maturity. Unless you'd buy it as a tree, which would only increase the cost. But how would we know? <laughs> You're the one who knew about them. <laughs> you can Google that. Ooh, ooh. Okay, these will try to flip us over. Yeah, I expect the, them to be pricey, especially if you buy them already grown. Yeah. Okay, that just opens this up and locks us in. Okay, oh, and we're right back around here. Okay, that is good level design. It loops you back around. Did that Lum have a face? Yep. Of Murphy? Nope. So, so it's a smile. <laughs> Not everything has to have Murphy smile. <laughs> I rather things don't have a Murphy smile. Thank you very much. All right, and now we're going to do the <laughs> the mission's gimmick. Okay. Yep, yep. Come on. <laughs> Let's see. I think they start producing in the first year or two. Been a while since I looked into them. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, surprised I haven't heard of it until now since. Like, those make you wonder why it's not more common uh, knowledge. Ooh. Yeah, probably because most people just uh, accept that the tomatoes uh, always grow on vines or something like that. Gee, we... Uh, the controls for this are a bit inversed, as in... Oh, to aim up, I need to move the control down. Okay. Hmm. Let me try something here. This one, it charges at us. And, okay, it'll keep trying to follow us until it lands a hit on us. So if we do this... <laughs> it pulls a wily Coyote. Dear. <laughs> All right. go. Now, what did that actually open? Yeah, probably the door. <laughs> Very obviously the one door here. But tomato juice in Italy. Wait, okay, that would make sense, but I do love tomatoes. Yeah. Nope. Do they There's also love here? olives and uh, some sort of... Uh, Fish oil they use for cooking? Mm, Actually, I... oh no. I just remember something horrifying from Italy. I, I, I hope this is a false memory, but I think they have wine made of fish. Okay, I, <laughs> I hope as well that that's a false memory because that, uh, ew. I... I I gonna have to I love that for good mythical morning and I think they all had the same reaction of what the heck? <laughs> yeah. Also where the hell do we need to Okay, we don't need to bring this somewhere because we only have that place that we can bring it. Okay, I see what we need to do. We just need to hit the button on the other side. And a hidden cage, okay. Okay, that didn't show us anything new unless it opened up a door somehow. Saplings for 23 30 dollars each. Okay, is that not too bad? 
that, that that's actually pretty damn cheap for a tree, I think it. <laughs> and it's going to close on us. Yep. Yeah. The only problem is you would have to wait for quite a long time. True, and it probably takes some sp uh, some special care, or at least yeah. certain conditions for it to grow. Hmm. I, I might Rolling. look into getting one of those at some point in my life. Go. You will not, Hillian. You will not. For I know what you will do with them. <laughs> oh, why? We're afraid you're going to get a bit red in the face? I'm afraid you and everyone will get red in the face. Yep. You're gonna, make the the you're gonna make the SCP thing a reality. No, wait, no, that would make sense, but you love making puns. Yep. Unless you will make them... Use them to make sure that your puns are good and not bad. So every time you make a bad pun, you know you get punished. <laughs> oh, off-screen teeny dance. And, oh, hello. Yeah, they're patrolling out here. Uh, that's another issue. Would it survive Michigan winters, or do I need a greenhouse? Oh, you're gonna need a big greenhouse! Oop. Precipice. And we've gotten half of all of the cages. Oh, Meanwhile... The pirate prison ship... Uh, stable on the amount of slaves on board. Oh, no tripping this time. What is it? You're frozen. <laughs> is he all right? He just chucks his fucking hat. Yeah, and I noticed something odd about him. Yeah, his face uh, phased a bit through his beard. Uh, well, that too, I just meant more like... His eyes. One looks up and one looks down. Oop. Okay, they're launching red shells at us. But uh, yeah, nope. The whole thing about this level is they're just going to keep chasing a... Oh, oh, come on. They're going to shoot the platforms from underneath us the whole way. If my memory is correct. And it has already been proven to be quite incorrect, at least on, on Whale Bay. Gotta be a bit on the trigger with the jump button. Page 41. Oop. Oh, come on. You fa failed. There we go. Some of these fall away really quickly. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I can see what you mean there, big trucker. I, I also hate to waste food. And whenever I'm noticing some food has been spoiled, I get a bit sad. You could maybe use them to compost for other plants, but then you just... You could possibly have a cycle that just repeats. I, I, we, we have green bags in Sweden that so all organic materials are sent to a... Yeah, to be used as compost or something. There we go. Luckily, the checkpoint lum actually seeks us out. It, come on, those those so, quick ones are really annoying. So, yeah, we, we, we in Sweden, we do take care of... Uh, Organic waste. Just double tie the bag. Yeah, that stuff will stink. Yeah, and, and here's a lot of, here's a good fun thing. I noticed that if you only have orange peel in the bag, not counting apple seeds and such, and it's gonna it's not gonna smell too bad. And if you only have banana peels, not too bad really. I think you have both banana peels and oranges in the same bag. Oh boy! 
That's a biological weapon. Yeah, running fruit in the yard ain't the best. Oh, immediately going on again. Oh, not not. In, I don't have any. I have it in a plastic bag. I don't have a yard anymore. Okay. Got to keep concentrated for those quick ones. But, oh, you're red big truckers. Yeah. <laughs> and yep, immediately I take that thing to the face again. Uh, yeah, this tower that we're climbing is going to, is sinking into the water as we climb it. Oh, now oh, come. See what I mean with those quick ones being really annoying. Now, third time to charm. Yeah. I can see what you mean. I usually hate quick time events like these. Okay, that, that was just bad timing because I was just kind of, you know, Raymond was just coming out of a row. All right, now, this should go better. Actually, the the one, it looks like the ones that fall away quick are the ones that spark. So if we see a spark, we know to jump. And yeah, this thing is just sinking away as we go. So we do need to <laughs> keep going. And it's really just on our heels. Oh. Yeah, that, yeah, that one sparked. And, okay, that is the tell. That is the tell. They spark, and now we Donkey Kong as well here. Okay, we should be plenty ahead now, I think, to be a bit more comfortable. I say that, and immediately it's at our, our, at our heels again. And of course they have to send someone in to try and finish it. Luckily, I think yeah, it, it has stopped sinking. And okay, we actually can't charge shots when we have the golden gloves. Guess that is to balance things a little bit, since well, it's already an upgrade to your out damage to let you charge attacks with upgrades your damage even further beyond that. Yeah, and I have to say, I kind of like that uh, these robot parts are not easy foes. Yeah, they are just utterly relentless. <laughs> yeah, like, they, I don't know if, if calling them mini bosses is correct, but something in that way, like, they all feel like elite. Yeah. Spark and jump. At least uh, they feel like elites yep, yep. for these kind of games that were probably more aimed for kids. Yeah. Uh, it's also, we don't, we're not constantly fighting them, so that's also adds to whenever we do run into them. And then it's typically only one. Or... I think yeah. we have two at the most, at the once. Yeah, but you woke up two or three of them in a room where they were sleeping. Yeah. It's probably due to they know that uh, they, I think they really want to feel imposing, like one is enough to be a struggle. Yeah, and even before we, even before the game started, they had just basically won already. If it wasn't for Lee managing to, or is, would it be Lee or Lai? Probably Lai. Yeah, that Good would actually be, that they, would actually they be have spread a name. I think they say Lee. Uh, yeah, they did. They did. They do say the names, sort of accurately, and they did say Lee. Yeah. Uh, uh, hello. Actually, here's an uh, here's an example. Like, people say Diablo one and two are scary, but Diablo three is not. I I say that Diablo three mobs are the most scariest one appearance-wise. Mm. However. When you can slay waves of them like nothing, it kind of takes away the scary factor. Yeah. And I... here we have a, a game where 
Red them up, so I'm not scared, but I'm really imposing. And just one is a minor struggle. Yeah, we, we have plenty not... of we have plenty of HP to tank their hits, but we'll still it, they still aren't a they they still aren't pushovers. Exactly. Mostly. So they so even with extra health, where you can tank, which is probably not always the wisest that it do. They will still be able to handle your hits. Yeah, especially when they get their invincibility frames. <laughs> Luckily, we get those as well. Uh, yeah. Anyways, back to Trucker for a bit. Yeah. Uh, oh. Okay, recovered from that one. Uh, I'd like a lime tree, but it would require a greenhouse in winter and again, usage rates. Fruits running in the yard, yeah. I've got several acres now, so I have room to do things now. Unfortunately, the, the deer infestation is real. Deer, okay. uh, <laughs> I didn't know that pardon? deer could be considered a infestation. Uh, it's an actual term. It's an actual term. Even we Swedes have that, have that problem sometimes. So, either, so we should have hunters to deal with them, either by killing them or moving them. Okay, we have one area here where we do have deers, and they're not really an infestation, but they their numbers are called every now and then. Oh, hello. You're new. To avoid them from just eating themselves to death. What are you? Ew, that's a new track. <laughs> Did we just find the elite of the elite? Yeah, I think so. This one just comes right the hell at us. And has way more health for a different kind of ammo. Now, we've, we've seen two other, at least two other pirates with these shots. But yeah, this one is probably, that one was probably an actual elite. I get the feeling that must have been the commander of the ship that was chasing us, or and is still trying to bombard us even as we speak. Bombard the lieutenant or something. Even now they're still trying to shoot us. <laughs> Offspring Rayman dance. And there we go. Let's see, aka field rats. We have white-tailed deer here. There are several hunting scenes in the area. Okay. I... I think I've tried venison once in my life on a, a Christmas dinner, but I don't actually remember a thing about it. I think it actually just tasted like beef or chicken or something, or at least not different enough to actually make much of an impression. It is tasty, I can say. It's a really gamey, but tasty. Provided you have some good spice to go with it. Uh, maybe this Christmas again. Yeah, also, some. Oh, hello. Uh, Uh, I got reminded of something. Uh, so I, there was something I learned today that uh, was quite funny. Apparently, there are deer farmers, and bye bye. <laughs> this is the squeaking as it flees around. <laughs> Sorry uh, for that one. Uh, there's deer farmers, and to avoid them getting hit by uh, cars. Uh, they they basically pair, uh, spray paint, glow in the dark paint on their antlers, for the males at least. Yay! Interesting. Uh, okay, we can. Uh, right, we have a people uh, up north called the Sami. They are reindeer uh, herders. Okay. Both for transport Oops. and food and. Unsure if milk as well. I, actually, the bread I made my little pieces of all from the Sami. Okay. Called, po uh, I think it's English, it would probably translate as polar bread. 
says, well, that part of Sweden is very close to the Pula region. <laughs> and it's very good bread. You can make actually tiny pizzas out of it. Okay, ooh, and roast them. Then they go. Okay, this isn't too hard, at least as you if you see what's coming up. And immediately the game puts a bit where it blocks sight. Oh, okay, just keep spinning. There we go. What even is up and down anymore? They don't have that much problem with deers in Sweden. But no. it's only you probably need fences. Or something to keep the deers away from the roads. It's one of those again. <laughs> The fucker is a sniper with that thing. Uh, yeah, dear car accidents are so common that the insurance companies don't even want a police report. <laughs> yep. Yeah, that is one big problem. That uh, I. Yeah. Yep. The fucker. The deer's crossing roads is a, yeah, a whole known thing on all on its own. Yeah. In Sweden, we actually have put up fences in some areas, or even maybe made tunnels, just to keep the deers away from the roads. Uh, we don't have those for deer, but we do have them for other uh, smaller animals you know, over here in the Netherlands, but those were basically... Uh... uh what would they be called? They're not via... Oh, we need to go this way. Uh, they basically put a, a land... They basically build a land bridge over the roads. Uh, typically the, just the, the highway. Uh, where the animals can cross over them. It's not a small with the under t small tunnels on the roads for small animals. They would be made some bigger ones for deer and such. But we do have fences that tall. Over 12 feet, no, but not for the deer, but for the mooses. <laughs> and a moose is worse than a deer to hit with a truck. For they will be, they have a good chance to be okay from the truck uh, being hit by a car. <laughs> okay, I didn't think that would kill it instantly. <laughs> okay, 47. Uh, oh, there's a little side passage here. There are deers on city streets? What the heck? Is this, where does this go? If anywhere. I'm not going to risk that right now. Let's just take a uh, look at uh, behind our barrel pirate. <laughs> Wait, man, stop being clingy. Hmm. Oh, I hear footsteps. Oh, hello, big boy. Ow. <laughs> okay, actually, we can probably just... Yes, yeah, so we can just absolutely cheese him around the corner. Yeah, and a big trucker, I think... That's not a thing, like, you may have angered a, de a stag spirit or something. I think the deers have declared war on you. <laughs> Uh, I want to make a joke there, but I get the feeling it one of the words is uh, on the no-no list. Well, you could always do the joke of the old uh, deer hunting game, but we have a deer hunting hunters. His name was Bamboo. <laughs> I think you guess oh, why he, they named him Bamboo. Uh, I actually can't because. Or wait, did they? Did they? Did the deer have its antlers taken or something and replaced them with bamboo ones? Uh, it was more of a, a mix of pun between Bambi and Rambo. <laughs> okay, Didn't that makes a lot like more Rambo. sense. And oh, okay, we found our exits, but we haven't found our teeny wizards. Our Tiny, teeny wizard. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. I, I, I remember some part of that game now. One of his 
human calls to attract hunters. Oh, uh, I. It was basically him imitating a woman saying he's naked and holding a pizza. <laughs> and it worked. It's Dude, I still don't get why he was shooting hippies. You'd think the hippies would be the ones not... <laughs> the ones trying to protect the deer. Yeah, and that always confused me, like... Okay, I get you shoot these guys, but why the hippies? Why do they need you lovers? Let's grab that long. Oh, oh, okay, that's we that is what the barrels are for. Okay. Let's see. Department of Natural Resources won't let a hunters call the herds enough. Well, okay. I, I can't understand why, since it is a very delicate situation. Oh uh, yeah, yeah, that's that, the problem. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, you basically have a situation like you know, a situation like Australia had with rabbits, where they had no natural enemies and just started well, breeding like rabbits. Dude, in this case, they removed the wolves and coyotes and caused it an imbalance. Yeah. Trucker, this is a case of probably whoever shot the wolves and coyotes cause this problem to escalate. Yeah. Like, I get farmers want to track their livestock, but you have to be careful. It For removing could have been the farmers that, uh, yeah, led to the, uh, most of those being called. And hello, you're, you're just here on a little chair, a little throne. I have a feeling you probably need to reintroduce some groups of coyotes, but I'm pretty sure some... Yeah, that's a problem. I, I think you people accidentally made things worse. Yeah, so the only way to get rid of the problem with the deers now would be to eradicate the deers. <laughs> It's is deer's accurate deer. multiple on them or not? Or is it just deer? Uh, I think it's deer's. I think. But yeah, there, there are better ways to protect livestock now. Like, replace the dogs with donkeys. Cheaper and they will give her wolf a reason to not come back. Like, there are pictures of donkeys carrying a wolf by the ear. Away from a fence. The yeah, llamas also work. I, I think we actually talked about that uh, during a, a, another game that we streamed at one point. Or was that was that llamas with uh, sheep uh, sheep or something? I forget specifically, but Not yeah, sure. apparently llamas make pretty good guard dogs. Yes, as donkeys. And they're cheaper as well. Okay, deer doesn't get an S. Okay. And here we have the third sanctuary. The sanctuary of rock and lava. So... Wait, yeah, we had rock? one of fire and stone, and now we have one of rock and lava. Um, is it just me, or does that sound like a bad name? <laughs> and I think we don't have enough lungs for... Uh, Lee's race here. Okay. Not even going to talk to us? Come on. Hmm. All right. Oh, hello there. It is... And we, we kill it just as the music gets good. <laughs> oh well, that's not much of a rock and lava so far. Hmm. Oh, but, 
I don't think I've had the too much problem with worms or bears in Sweden. Like, I think most animals keep away from our farms due to just good fences, really. Hmm. So, I think the farmers are allowed to shoot a bear if needed. Do I think many farmers avoid that? Like, many farmers don't want to kill the bears and the wolves, but they only know how risk of endangerment there are. So, I, I, I have to look, probably gonna look at that. I think many farmers usually call in uh, hunters to uh, just move those animals away. Okay. Okay, that one again. Um, uh, that, that actually reminds me a bit. I don't think they are named in game, but the guardian of the cave of bad dreams was is named Jano, I believe. Jano? Yeah. Okay. Uh, um. Those look suspicious. They got turtle shells. Forty-nine. Okay, we're close to another health up. Almost said level up. <laughs> uh, let's see. I can't even count the number of times I came home from work and wake uh, and woke several deer uh, sleeping on my septic field. Uh, I don't think I even want to know what a septic field is. <laughs> it takes twelve foot long, fa uh, twelve foot fences to stop deer. Bear deer aren't in Southeast Michigan. Hello. And goodbye. <laughs> Why not ask Michigan White Man for help? But let's just clear these out because they're Wait. creepy. Wait, is that the name of the cryptid in Michigan? Michigan White Man? Hmm. Why am I remembering that wrong? I know very little about American cryptids. Uh, the most I know about them is from uh, Oxhorn's videos on Fallout 76. Okay! I knew these are the mountain, dude. There are so many. Hmm. Especially with the big fruit variant. Yeah, quite a bit bigger of a health bar than we started with, huh? Yeah. Also, I didn't mention it at the time, but I do like that we start off the game not at full health. Because, yeah, Raymond has been in prison for quite some time, so it would make sense for him to be weakened. And it also leads to an automatic... Uh, aut well, not really a tutorial, but as a immediate showcase that red lumps heal you. Okay. Waste water? Septic field is where the waste water from a home is drained back into the ground a foot or two below the surface. Okay. 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 Something about that. It sounds familiar. I just just don't know if it's a false memory or not. If it's banned in Sweden and those things. And we probably could have jumped off to the side to crack that cage open, but oh well. Uh, yeah, we're just we're just taking this thing, whatever it is, down into the pit of thorns. Uh, this probably would have been better named the Sanctuary of Thorns. Oh, oh never mind. Yep. Oh wait, it it was pa <laughs> it was paused so we could destroy the door. I was expecting it to well keep going. Oh well, well now we can God. grab the cage. Uh, what the heck are you riding on? Yes, some sort of magic, not even a magic lily pad, a magic something. 
Yep. Levitation plume? I guess so, yeah. And it looks like we'll have to well, ricochet shots off the wall to get that cage. So, third time to charm. Okay. There we go. Hmm. I'll have to check how many lums we actually need for that race with Lee. Yep, for now. Yeah, let's just keep going with this. Uh, yeah, I'm okay. guessing. I'm guessing that would be used in areas where there is less. You know, that are further away from more common septic systems or sewer systems. Mm, I guess that would make sense. Oh, come on. It just instantly disintegrates underneath us. I was expecting it to go up in flames, but not that fast. <laughs> well, fourth time to charm. Uh, yeah, I, I guess we're approaching the end of this game quicker than I actually thought we would. This, we'll have the third mask after this, and the gate camera is freaking out a bit. So I'm guessing we could probably finish this game in another stream. So if we might finish it tomorrow? Uh, could, yeah. At least in theory. A string theory. Really? Yeah. Really? The game theory was a bit overdone with that. Okay, there we go. No, no, he, he has... MadPat has done that joke already before you with stream theory. Yeah, but I've said game theory often enough now. Yeah, so you just do one of his other jokes. Well done. Okay, I jumped way too early on that. It's a bit hard to judge distance at, you know, with this. Uh, I guess I'll just wait... There, yeah, okay, we jumped just in time for... Come on! Okay, so if the more people comes... Then only then they will give you regular sewage system. Okay, I get it. Yeah, I, 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 I wouldn't know how that would work here. I, I jumped too early this time. Uh, because, yeah, the Netherlands are very densely populated. So we, to my knowledge at least, we don't have any place that isn't connected to the sewer. Yeah, it's same here. Like, we have big farms, but they're usually not too far from the cities. Come on. And if anything, they're usually put closer to the cleaning works. Yeah, the, the fire being 2D makes it hard to judge how far it is. Yeah, do they do look hot. Yeah, too early again. Hmm. Like, fire, uh, fire effects can be really difficult to make. Or in 3D at least. Oh, okay, we get at least a second or two to jump, or a second... A very short window to jump, at least. Away with you. Yeah, I agree with you, it can be tricky with 3D, but here they actually made it rather nice to say. So it's a bit more 2D. Yeah. Oh, and here we finally have some lava. Okay. Hmm. Ooh, oh, 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 oh. Ooh, yep. ah. <laughs> Come on, that was just bad timing here. Oh, uh, well. The music is nice enough. Nothing exceptionally special. Yep. At least we got the cage. 
So no need to be cagey about this platforming anymore. Wait, wait, what about cake? We have cake? <laughs> Where's the cake? Wait, Nicholas Cage? <laughs> I guess. Oh, oh, come on. <laughs> you dislike the fun so much. I actually want to know how, uh, if you could make a, uh, a cake in the shape of a cage. Wait, can you can repeat that. A cake in the shape of a cage. Okay, shape. All right. I thought you would said face. I thought, wait, what? <laughs> oh, okay. That retracts again. Uh, uh, yeah, I think you can make a cake in the shape of a cage. Sort uh, of. So it's more of a, probably more paintwork. Uh, yeah, it would, it would depend on how... Uh, mm, on if you would have it be open, or if you would... Oh, okay, that, that helps a lot. If you'd just, uh, yeah, make it a solid block and just have it colored like a cage. Yeah, like, there, there is a uh, very dark chocolate that's almost black after all. Can we hit that from here? Yes, we can. 53 yeah, out of 80. Indeed, Big Trucker, indeed. Uh, I, if you try to literally turn a cake into a cage, it will not hold. Yeah. Unless, unless it's a very, mo very, very old cake. That's or somehow you're, fossilized. Or you're using it to imprison a, a diabetic. <laughs> That, that, that's just cruel. <laughs> we are running a bit low on health. End time. True. We can probably still beat this level and the boss. Oh. Come on. Do I need to hit it multiple times or something? Nope. But if you first, there we go. We just have to squeeze through. Okay. I have the impression that this place did not always were were covered in lava. Hopefully, yeah. Then again, it is the it is the sanctuary of rock and lava, so yep. it probably would have. It seems to be more, but you see yourself, the, the motif and decorations. Okay, what was that yeah for, <laughs> Rayman? He just get more health. I don't think so. We haven't hit 10 cages again. Oop, too early. But yeah, if you look, notice the area, the walls and all that are much more plant-like. Green and all. Yeah, Wait, I, is I this guess this. It. Yeah, I don't think it's jade. It's not. It's too dull for that, I think. But it could have been that this was a more of a nature leaning. More of a nature leaning. Ah, there it is. Uh, yeah, you, just look at sanctuary. the cross fences. That was that. Okay, we did get all the cages. Not all of the lumps, but again, that's not a bad thing. It... <laughs> okay. Uh, we didn't get a mask of this, though, from here, though. Hmm. Okay, odd. Hmm? All right, so from Beat Trucker here. If there were more lava, magma, your firm energy would be far more popular. Yeah. Oh, beneath the sanctuary of rock and lava. <laughs> this level has a part two. Oh dear. And I guess you're sort of correct, uh, Big Trucker. Probably is. Yeah. The, the risk with uh, volcanoes. Uh oh.
A part of me now just w wants to make a model of these for little jackasses as well. Just four teenies in a row, one with a crown. Can we skip this? Yes, it is again the same. What the? Alien? What do you do? Something fell and hit the uh, BRB button, or at least the macro BRB button. There we go. Oh, what the... There we go. Uh -oh. Yeah, something fell from the top of my desk to the... onto my keyboards. And hello again, Lee! At least we didn't miss anything with that accidental BRB. I should. <laughs> yep, now we can straight up fly. Nice. And I should probably disable the macro keys on my keyboard so that doesn't happen again. The bad news is that your mission gets harder. So here's some advice. Use your helicopter power to fly. Just activate the helicopter and keep A pressed down. Press control to move around. And it'll be much easier. Control. Okay. Yeah, Helion never had control over, over anything, probably. Just, just look at his golems at the ship, taking coffee breaks, but they can't even drink coffee. <laughs> He has absolutely no control over his cats either. They're, they're cats, of course. <laughs> there's, there's a reason that herding cats is a term for uncontrolled <laughs> or chaos. Okay, we can't drive these away. Not that hard. Uh, yeah, now we can just straight up go wherever we want up in the air. Though I don't know if we, I don't know if that carries over if we, re ow, if we return to older levels. And I saw a cage back there. And uh, let's see. I, I just yeah. remember something. A, a something cats do, but it's rare. That sometimes an entire neighbor's cat just suddenly decide to. And it's in this case, decide to visit the same tree one night. Okay, the Council of Cats. Um, more of an army of cat of uh, almost 70 or 80 cats in the same tree. <laughs> okay, we we went through that route before, <laughs> before it could do anything to us. There we go, 56. I'm kind of surprised that with all these uh, phones you haven't made the yoke. <laughs> well, there haven't been a thorn into the Rayman's literal side yet. All right, I forgot uh, you could have done that as well. <laughs> so there's another yoke which probably also left alone. Best left, left alone. I, keep, I will leave you with that cheap one. Uh, 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 come on, stupid things. Oh, wait, uh, uh, is this a sh uh, 18 plus channel or a uh, PG? Uh, I believe the channel is still set to uh, mature audiences, so that it gives a warning that, uh, yeah, mature topics can come up. Yeah, probably for the best. And, yeah, flight uh, plus uh, wind. Oops. Just look at Greenland and Iceland. Yeah, they have benefit to the, uh, also 
Disadvantage, but I think Iceland and Greenland do have concerns with their volcanoes. <laughs> okay, we <And>, uh, <laughs> Apparently he say you broke? Uh, yeah, broke uh, oh, the because yeah. I I was muted and such there. I completely forgot that already. I completely forgot that for a moment. Little disaster. <laughs> okay. So, gotta keep going forwards. Okay. Order. Okay. It's a bit tricky to attack and have to hover up and down at the same time because if if I if I try to use my right hand to attack, Rayman drops or starts to drop. Okay. I think we are getting close and I hear another cage. Ah, there you are. Yeah, this has must this, this must have been made by the fairies. There we go, 57. We are going to go into this with low health. Yep. These stupid things. Uh, what what is see. controlling the fawns? Uh, not sure. And, oh, I think I, I see how we need to do this. We, I, for, I was first was thinking to break that thing down, but no, it has a slope here. That we can bounce attacks off of. There we go. Uh, wait, what's the dots for big trucker? Test one, Did two. Did see something? Yeah, I see the bar move, and it's not, it's not blocked out, so they, everything should be audible. Yeah. We, we are really low on health, even lower on health. Yeah, try not to shower in lava. It's very painful, obviously. Yeah. And probably unhealthy. Mm. And why is the lava not burning the phones? Hmm. Magical thorns or something? That was a risk. I probably shouldn't have taken, but it, I got it through it. Mm. Ah, okay. And we missed whatever that was. Wait. All right, for we, we, you, you suddenly just sent us uh, a message with three, three dots. We, we wonder if you reacted to a bad pun or something. Uh, but yeah, enjoy your brunch and good luck with work. Yeah, uh, may your brunch taste well. And while Trucker is going to brunch, we are going to brawl. Yeah, it goes to uh, flight ability. Okay, we're back to my short memory. Yeah, it, yeah, I'm surprised I forgot that myself. Ouch. Okay. Yeah, we have to run away from him. <laughs> oh. Yeah, no, get burnt there. Yeah, I think I forgot it because it, it, it lost us such a short moment. Yeah, it looks like just, uh, just like Axel. And he he lasts a lot longer than Axel as well. <laughs> Oop. Now he's changing it up. Yep. Okay, I... I really hope that we don't have to restart at the start of the level if we just outright die. 
And I, I really don't remember if lives are a thing or not in this version of the game. I don't think so. Well, we're, we're likely to find out, it seems. Okay, the, the dots were over the BRB screen incident. Yep, I just said that. Oh, it seems it's health, it's health reset as well. Be careful, I... This is quite the arena, though, even if this level plays out like a Crash Bandicoot chase scene. Yeah, we do not want to be near him when he does that. Oh, that one more hit. <laughs> one more hit on the both of us. I, and as the timer going off... I, I'm really impressed if you succeed in killing him. Uh, oh. Just as you say that. <laughs> uh, oh, come on. Is he... It, He's T-posing on us for dominance. Yeah, oh, okay. It... Oh, and it just throws us back to the last checkpoint. That is nice. Or the last level transfer, I guess. So, I had to say, that I think you're going to need to do an ellipse warning on that one. Uh, maybe, yeah. <laughs> or a flex warning. Uh, as Pouch is a lot better of a boss than Axel, but I still... This, that stupid face. Yeah, I, I get the teeth, but the eyes kind of ruins it. I think they could have done better eyes on him. There we go. One more hit. Oh dear. And then we'll have only the final mask left. Oh god. They drug her seriously. <laughs> <laughs> well, its its head looks a bit like the modern tea bags that Lipton uses. Or is it Lipton? There's some company now uses triangular uh, <laughs> tea bags these days. Only fancy ones. Come on, Rayman, grab the thing. Come on. There we go. We had a good. A we needed to get a good angle on it. Okay, we got about half of all the things we could have gotten in this level, but we got through it. No time for hesitation, Rayman. And here we go. They're not even bothering just being slow with it, huh? Uh, mm. Yeah, we know the drill by now. One more of these ugly things to go. Yep, so let's save. And... Next time... <laughs> uh, we should be able to stream tomorrow. Uh, so if we can finish this game in another stream, then it'll likely be tomorrow. So, yeah, for now, let's go look for someone to stream uh, to raid. Uh, Wait, shall we raid Big Trucker? <laughs> I don't think that's really possible at the moment. Uh, okay. First, uh, just for safety, 61%. Yes, let's override that. Remember the existing this, this. Yes, overwrite. Yeah. Okay. Uh, nope, I didn't mean, mean to do that. Okay. Yep. Okay, getting a bit weird now. 
There, abandoned with X. There we go. All right, then. Uh, yeah, like I said, let's go look for someone to raid on the Twitch. Okay, open this up. Minimize, make it smaller. Mute the site. And apparently... Four point, uh, four, apparently 4,200 people are currently watching Guild Wars 2 streams. <laughs> okay, uh, our usuals aren't streaming it seems, so we'll have to go look for someone new again. Uh, there is J -A -S -A Jade Star who is streaming RimWorld. There is Wolf Machina who is streaming Minecraft. Who, oh, they're actually... They're actually they're actually streaming modded Minecraft with Create. Oh, wait. <laughs> hello, uh, Atreus. Yes, <laughs> sorry, you missed the stream. Uh, you, you can yeah. still look back the font if you'd like. And then we have Pirate Lahai, who is streaming the Horus Heresy Legions. Okay. And Jimmy Wolf Gaming streaming Gunfire Reborn. I think I can make an easy guess as to which of those you're going to advise, simply because, well, pirate. No, 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 I'm confused. Okay, let's see, we have... Oh, someone else started. Someone is... I'll, I'll just call the games and you... Except, and well, that one pirate streamer. Uh, you can choose between which those. Uh, we have someone streaming Thief Deadly Shadows. We have someone streaming Rimworld. Someone streaming Modded Minecraft with Create. We have someone stream. We have the pirate uh, streamer streaming the Horus Heresy uh, Legions. Not sure what that is. It's probably an old 40k game. And then we have someone streaming Gunfire Reborn, which is basically a furry Borderlands. Okay, and uh, Horus Heresy. That, Horus Heresy. You see, games are very new. Okay. So, shall we might go raid from them? Yeah, might as well. Oh, I, I see it. <laughs> it's uh, it's 40k Hearthstone. Alright, let's uh, rate them all. Oh. Uh, shall we still rate them or rate someone else then? That's my raid the Minecrafter. Okay, Wolf Machina. I'll, I'll give this guy a check on my own time. But for <laughs> timing, they just and they just stop their stream, it seems. <laughs> or at least... <laughs> uh, well, back to the... <laughs> back, to, back to Horus Heresy, then. Yeah, I might as well, then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Then we go to our own channel. There we go. And there. Slash raids. Pirates. Lahey. All right. Uh, yeah. Thank you, anyone who has been watching now or later. And thank you for watching and chatting along, Big Trucker. And thank you still for showing up, Atreus. Yeah, it is still appreciated. And as always, thank you as well, Drakir. Welcome, my friend. And, uh, yeah. We'll probably stream tomorrow and possibly finish up this game and then move on to another game that I grew up with. Uh, but until then, thank you all for watching again. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then. Stay safe, folks. Look, uh, watch out for sharks.